Let's get some weather now with Stevie Jacobs. Good day, man. Oh, yeah. Good morning to you, Carlos. We are waking up the Australian Defence Force Academy this morning in Canberra. This is a unique military institu institution which combines military training along with academic studies through the University of New South Wales. They have about a thousand trainees here at any one time and they will go on to become the future officers and leaders of the Navy, Army and Air Force. Think Top Gun with a degree and a guaranteed job at the end. Now, the physical training is pretty full on. We're going to be taking you through it this morning, so they have to be pretty Pretty good listeners. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. There we go. We're starting off this morning in the cadets' mess, having a little bit of brekkie, but we'll take you through your paces right throughout the morning. Well, I'm with Lieutenant Colonel Michelle McGuinness this morning, waking up in the cadets' mess, which is not only where they have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but it really is where they live and socialise. So, what have you got in store for us today? Well, see, we're going to take you out around the academy and uh, put you through some training out on the field out there, and we might just. Drop me in the deep end at the end. OK, now, is it, is it difficult? Look, I see great potential in you. <laughs> I think there's nothing here that we can't work with. Oh, thank you. Am I more of a maverick or a goose? Uh, let's wait and see. <laughs> let's wait and see. OK, well, we're going to be uh, putting you through your paces right throughout the morning, Carl and Lisa. Stay tuned as we come live from the Australian Defence Force Academy in Canberra. Good morning, all. Morning. Oh, I love that. <laughs> How great to have a front row seat to that. It's going to be an interesting mm. morning. Thank you, Stevie. Hey. Good morning, everyone. We're waking up the Australian Defence Force Academy in Canberra this morning. Michelle, time for a little bit of PT. What's going on here? Yep, physical training, Stevie. This is battle for physical training. We're conditioning the, uh, the trainees. We're building their mental and physical toughness and their strength and empowering them to go out and be leaders. These are going to be the leaders of our future and it's the first day of spring, so I'm going to spring into action with these guys and girls right after we take a look around the country, see what's happening with your weather today. OK, we are getting into a bit of PT, some physical training at the Australian Defence Force Academy. It's all... No, this way. OK, it is... And, and hey, it is all about building strength, mental and physical strength. Now, these guys do... Three sessions each week with physical trainers, two sports sessions, plus they also do their own training. And let me tell you, it is physically and mentally grueling, but you are guaranteed of a job at the end. Now, this is something that I would probably definitely get involved in if they set this up in Queensland, because here it is minus 1.6 at the moment, and I cannot feel my toes, right? Time to jump back into action. We'll see you shortly. And will warm you up. Thanks, Stevie. Thank We've got some uh, breaking sporting news oh, now. Timmy Gilbert, over to you. Yes. Good morning, Carlos. We're at ad for this morning. Australian Defence for... <laughs> for... What is it? Australian, Australian Defence Force, Force, Force Academy. Force Academy. That's it. That's where junior leaders become militarily trained and also get a degree at the same time. Now, Michelle, um, lots of different activities you can do here. What are we seeing this morning? So, drill's really an important part of military uh, traditions and also discipline. This is our precision drill team. And uh, you'll see this morning that they are going through a routine with no words of command. Now, drill is traditionally about instinctive response to words of command. This is a bit of showmanship as well. These cadets are actually uh, volunteer drill uh, professionals, and they train about two hours a week in their spare time to master this kind of skill. Is it hard? Uh, we're going to give you a go oh, real great. soon. Well, I'm joined by Officer Cadet Rowan, who's 20 years of age at uh, quite a large unit, and uh, he's going to teach me how to do a little bit of drill. What's it all about? Uh, it's all about the precision, basically. That's where we get the name for the team, pretty much. Um, so some fundamental movements that we'll teach you uh, this morning is standing at, uh, stand at ease and attention. So attention. Yes. Hands flashed, uh, rough and down by your side. Body braced up, head and eye facing forward. Good, you're natural. <laughs> so coming at ease. <laughs> What you do is simply pick up your left foot, place the shoulder width apart, and as you place your foot down, right arm extends. So into attention, foot up, foot in, right and by your side. Perfect. So from there, we're going to go into slope. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and these are 301 rifles from World... 303 rifles. 303 yeah. rifles from World War One. Yeah. Wow, beautiful so piece of equipment. While. Okay, show us some of the fancy stuff. All right, so in slope. You can drop back by your, your back. Oh! oh they're not loaded, are they? No, no, no. Good. 
<laughs> we might just leave that one there. These guys will uh, and girls will represent ADFA at civilian and military events, and they'll they'll do it much better than what I just did at yeah, Cal's Pizza. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, Stevie. Glad hey, they're not loaded. Yeah, great career for uh, young men and women, I reckon. Time now for a check of the weather. Good morning once again, Stevie. Yeah, good morning to you, Lisa. We're at the Australian Defence Force Academy in Canberra this morning where junior leaders straight out of school can get military training and also get a degree at the same time. With some of the engineering students here this morning, they have access to amazing facilities, incredible laboratories, and the engineering students are given a task, which is to design, build and fly unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, and these, of course, can be used for reconnaissance or research and rescue and we'll take you airborne in one of their little drones right after we have a look at the weather at your place this morning. Okay, I'm on the iPad here this morning which controls one of these little UAVs. All we have to do is take it up into the sky. We've got a camera on board here and that's actually looking straight at, let me do that, there we go, that's how it goes up, straight at some of the trainees who are actually doing some rock climbing this morning, the indoor gym, and you can make it move to the right and move to the left. Now Michelle, tell us a little bit about the, the educational uh, side of ADFA. So Stevie, here at ADFA we're very lucky to be partnering with the University of New South Wales. They are one of our uh, top research universities in Australia. We have a great staff to student ratio. The students have, the trainees have great access to, as you said, facilities, instructors, great, for, great research and uh, are learning for them. So with these uh, trainees that are developing UAVs, they are involved in developing and building the UAVs as well as the software to actually allow them to fly as you are semi-autonomously around. So it's quite it, amazing, isn't it? Just incredible what they can do here. Not exactly taking it to the danger zone this morning, Carlos, but this is part of the amazing process that is creating young leaders down here at ADFA. And uh, we're about to put me through some pretty heavy paces on the obstacle course. We're going to ramp up the, uh, the tempo a bit here. Great. All right, we'll land this little baby. All you have to do is press a button. And there we go. Oh. All right, we're into the obstacle course and we're going to take you uh, a little bit more action aplenty in the next half hour. Stay tuned, Carl and Lisa. Great to see so many right. young women there too, Steve. Mm, it awesome. is, isn't it? Thank you. We'll see you again soon. Now come. Good morning, everyone. We're waking up at the Australian Defence Force Academy. We're at the Indoor Sports Centre this morning where some of the more physically challenging activities happen, like the overwater obstacle course, which I'm going to give a go right now. And, Michelle, you are going to talk us through it. And away we go! Here we go, Steve. Whoa! <laughs> well done, Stevie. <laughs> Made it! <laughs> so, Stevie, here at, here at Adford, not only are we... <laughs> providing a world-class education for junior trainees, but we're also uh, setting them up for any challenge that might present in the future. At the moment, you're on the overwater obstacle course, which is about confidence and agility, strength and resilience training. So oh. trainees will come down here and navigate their way through this obstacle course. Does everyone get across this, Michelle? They all work too, and we, we uh, train them frequently up here, oh. and ultimately, we get them all through. Oh. All right, well, I've made it this far, so... Let's have a look at the whole man. It's like exhausted. If you're a young Australian, you're about to leave school and you would like to be a future officer or young leader in the Army, Navy or Air Force, then ADFA is definitely for you. It's a three or four year degree. And at the same time, you get military training and become a... Oh, no. Ah! No. Oh, dear. Look, I think he did that. <laughs> just got over the cold, dude. Yep. Yeah. We know how fit Stevie is. When you think Special Forces, you think Stevie Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> SAS, Saturdays and Sundays. Keeping Australia safe. Yeah.